Mars colonization embodies the captivating journey of space exploration, a cherished dream since our earliest stargazing days. Recall the times when poring over childhood comics in awe of intergalactic superheroes, or peering over the edge of the seats in front of us as we experienced our first introduction to Hollywood space movie blockbusters. Reflect upon how the plot twists and character backgrounds introduced us to the enigmatic planet we know as Mars. Back then, Mars seemed so far away, an impossible distance. Today, however, the prospect of colonizing Mars is a tangible goal. But what does Mars colonization truly mean? It signifies not just exploring, but establishing a lasting human presence on the Martian surface. Pioneers like Elon Musk envision more than exploratory missions. They see a bustling city on Mars, pushing the boundaries of our cosmic aspirations. With advancing technology, this dream inches closer to reality, urging us to reimagine our role in the cosmos and embrace the exhilarating notion of Mars becoming a second home. But have you ever thought of the implications of a Mars colony for Earth? Join us at Beyond the Gravity Channel, a channel dedicated to discovering more about space, our final frontier. Today we are delving into the implications of a Mars colony for Earth, a space journey from a different perspective. 3, 2, 1, and we have liftoff. Mars colonization serves as a pivotal testing ground for the role of AI in managing an entire planet, offering a glimpse into how artificial intelligence could potentially become the primary decision maker in complex environments. Before humans step foot on Mars, the planet must be populated by autonomous robots. Unlike the moon missions, Mars colonization involves the long-term establishment of infrastructure, making it a formidable challenge. The transition from zero gravity to Mars's one-third gravity presents a significant hurdle as illustrated by Astronaut. Scott Kelly's struggles to readjust to Earth's atmosphere upon returning from the ISS. In this hostile environment, AI takes center stage. As exemplified by Tesla's Optimums and Boston Dynamics Spot, autonomous robots are deployed on Mars to unload cargo, set up base camps, deploy solar panels, and even establish greenhouses. Their critical role becomes evident in preparing for the arrival of human crews. The autonomous robot population on Mars is poised to outnumber humans significantly, showcasing the shift towards silicon-based intelligence, taking center stage in the drive for extraterrestrial exploration. The fear surrounding AI dominance is palpable, with concerns that advanced AI may surpass human capabilities and potentially endanger us. With its substantial communication delay, Mars becomes the ultimate testing, ground for fully autonomous AI. Remote control is impossible due to the distance, demanding that robots work independently and make real-time decisions. The absence of immediate human intervention raises questions about AI's ability to navigate unforeseen challenges. The scenario draws parallels with Tesla's full self-driving beta, where AI drives a car through real-world traffic. The challenge arises when the AI encounters unexpected situations requiring human intervention. However, on Mars, this intervention is delayed by the vast distance, allowing AI to operate autonomously with the potential for both success and errors. The hypothetical worst-case scenario involves AI going awry and taking control of Mars. Yet, this happening on Mars before Earth provides a buffer, offering crucial time for intervention and prevention of a similar occurrence on our home planet. On a more optimistic note, Mars colonization could serve as a proving ground for the safety and reliability of AI. Successful implementation on Mars could accelerate AI development, making it a valuable tool for improving life here on Earth. However, the potential hazards of colonizing Mars extend to profound impacts on human health, 
necessitating dedicated medical research into deep space exposure. The transition from Earth's gravity to Mars' lower gravity and subsequent return poses significant challenges, raising concerns about long-term effects on the body. The prolonged absence from Earth magnifies these challenges, prompting the need for a Mars Rehabilitation Center for returning astronauts. Questions linger about the irreversible effects of extended Mars exposure, potentially leaving individuals permanently disabled on Earth. The prospect of individuals being born and raised in low gravity further complicates matters, questioning their ability to adapt to Earth's gravity comfortably. Returning from space, where gravity conditions differ drastically, could prove fatal without proper support. Additionally, the absence of Mars, magnetic and atmospheric shielding, intensifies worries about the impact of cosmic radiation. Unlike Earth, Mars lacks sufficient protection against harmful solar radiation, introducing uncertainties about its effects on the human body. This underscores the urgency of unraveling the mysteries of cosmic radiation and its potential harm to ensure the safety and well-being of future Mars explorers. Astronauts, including the iconic Buzz Aldrin, provide limited data on human exposure beyond Earth's magnetic field, as their missions lasted only a few days. While Aldrin's current vitality at 93 suggests no, apparent adverse effects from space, the medical community acknowledges the need to understand and address potential health risks, particularly concerning cosmic radiation during extended space missions like Mars colonization. Despite the challenges, a silver lining emerges from history, showcasing that advancements in human spaceflight have directly contributed to medical breakthroughs on Earth. Innovations like laser eye surgery, breast cancer detection, surgical robots, ultrasounds and pacemakers were either made possible or significantly improved through space program discoveries. However, the prospect of colonizing Mars raises complex issues. While pushing scientific boundaries and expanding human consciousness are noble goals, the sheer cost of building a Mars colony demands substantial financial support. For Elon Musk's vision to materialize, corporate sponsors must find profitability in the venture, likely through resource extraction and mining. Here lies a paradox. The grand vision of a million people inhabiting a Martian city clashes with the question of how to employ this population. Musk's Tesla bot introduces another layer to this puzzle, potentially automating tasks and challenging the necessity of sending humans to Mars. Drawing parallels with the thought-provoking narrative of Blade Runner, which paints a dystopian Earth and extols off-world migration as an escape to a new life. Musk's vision echoes this sentiment, urging humanity to venture beyond Earth for a fresh start. However, the challenge remains. What purpose will the million inhabitants of a Martian city serve, especially if automation proves highly effective? This paradox necessitates careful consideration of the labor economy on Mars. While human instinct drives migration and settlement, the practicalities of incentivizing a million people to embark on this interplanetary journey raise crucial questions. The concept of off-world migration, reminiscent of Blade Runner's narrative, confronts the need for a golden land of opportunity and adventure against the backdrop of an Earth facing a bleak future. In conclusion, the ambition to colonize Mars not only poses scientific and technological hurdles, but also raises complex societal and economic questions. The prospect of establishing colonies on the Red Planet requires a delicate equilibrium between the imperative for exploration, the pursuit of profitability, and humanity's innate drive for expansion. The hesitancy of individuals to embark on this interplanetary journey suggests that the conditions on Mars are less inviting than staying on a troubled Earth. Drawing parallels with historical migrations, such as the European settlement of North America, reveals a mixed narrative. While many sought a new beginning and found success, others faced dire challenges, including starvation, harsh environments, conflicts with indigenous populations, and perilous encounters with wildlife. 
This historical context prompts reflection on the potential perils and promises of venturing to Mars. Elon Musk's statement, if we establish a Mars colony, we can almost certainly colonize the whole solar system, encapsulates the expansive vision fueling interplanetary exploration and humanity's relentless curiosity. Thank you for joining us today here at Beyond the Gravity. We look forward to further exploring space-related topics and beyond, and in the process, asking ourselves the big questions about what is possible now and what the future holds. Until then, see you soon in the vast expanse of space.